nightclub. We're celebrating our 14th anniversary, and our very special guest tonight is the one, the only, from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 5, Honey Mahogany. Honey, how are you? I'm good. I'm so excited to be in Columbus, Ohio. I've never been, actually. We, we, we have loved you tonight. You're absolutely incredible. Can you tell us what this experience has been like for you from Drag Race now, now that the show's over? Well, you know, the most amazing thing um, that's come out of Drag Race for me personally was getting to hang out with all my girls. I mean, I have formed such close friendships with all the Drag Race queens, and I've got to travel and meet all these amazing performers. Hello. 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 Um, so that has been the best part of the whole experience, I think. Is, is there any or any, any, anything you can share with the viewer about Drag Race, maybe a secret that you from season five that you really loved? Oh, I don't know how to say contractually. I really want to tell you what, um, uh, oh God, I would really want to tell you something about RuPaul, but I don't know if I'm allowed to say I'm going to get sued. <laughs> Let's just say that she's very comfortable sitting there behind the podium. Have you heard that rumor? No. Well, okay, well, you'll tell me after we get off camera. Okay. Um, to, uh, of the judges, who's favorite? Santino, Michelle? Michelle, hands down. I like Santino too, don't get me wrong. Project's Runway was my show. Was my show before Drag Race came along. Yeah. Um, but Michelle is like truly a motherly figure to all the girls. Like, um, as soon as I got kicked off of Drag Race, she sent me a message on Facebook and like told me how much she loved me and thought how amazing she thought I, I was just so touched by Michelle. And, um, and I'm falling over because it's the end of the night and I'm a little <laughs> drunk. I'm not lying. Michelle, I would say I love you even if I wasn't drunk, I promise. <laughs> if you um, still were on your tour, where's been your favorite stop? Where, where have you loved being? Columbus, Ohio, of course. Don't lie, bitch. I'm not lying. Shame. Well, the one thing I will say is um, I wish I was here longer. I, I mean, I basically landed, performed, and then I have to fly back. So I didn't really get to see Columbus, Ohio. Um, out of all the places that I've been that I actually got to see, uh, I think Boston. Boston was super, super cute. And I got to be, hang out with Jujubee, who is gold. Like, she is so amazing, not only as a performer, but just as a human being. So... You know. All right, a, little, a couple more questions. Who is uh, who is your favorite, your best sister, best gal pal from season five? I it's a close tie, it's a cl close uh, try um, between um, Detox, Alyssa, and um, Jinx. Those are my two or my three um, closest girls on the show. Girls that to this day, like we hang out outside of Drag Race, we text, we ch kiki, and um, there's it's. It's kind of an undescribable sisterhood. It's like a, it's a sorority. We've all gone through this process together, for better or worse. And um, those connections that you make are really real. They're really real. Yeah. yeah. Okay, who's the worst? How rude. <laughs> um, the person that I probably um, felt the least connection with. God. Um, Maybe, I might have to say Roxy, but only because um, I personally, I, I do not think Roxy's a bully. I feel like um, she got kind of the, the short end of the stick at the end of the day, um, but I do not get to know her as well as I got to know some of the other contestants on the show. Okay, that's interesting. You know, Roxy's gonna be here for Columbus Pride, June 20th through the 23rd, right here in Columbus. Well, she's flawless, so you will love her, I'm sure. <laughs> We're excited to have her. Now, uh, Cleveland is celebrating their 25th anniversary for Pride this year, so why don't you send them a little message, a little happy Pride, if you will. Uh, Cleveland? Yeah. What, what is it again? Say it again. I'm drunk. It's, it's <laughs> Cleveland, Cleveland is celebrating their 25th anniversary of Pride. Isn't that awesome? Well, in your, this is the 14th year anniversary of this bar. 14th anniversary here in Columbus of Access. Cleveland is celebrating their 25th Pride. That is fucking amazing. All right, Cleveland, 25 years of Pride. I hope you're proud because I'm so drunk. <laughs> No, okay, no, let me say this. Cleveland, I have yet to be, ever be booked in Cleveland. So book me for your 25th anniversary of Pride, Honey Mahogany. I love you very much. Enjoy. <laughs> Shameless self plug. P play it, Honey Lot. We'll have remixes by then, hopefully. What is Pride for you guys? Uh, um, for Cleveland, for Cleveland. Cleveland Pride is at the end of the month, and of June. 
June. That's the same as San Fran. I'm, I'm actually booked at Seattle and San Francisco Pride, so sorry. Bam. I know. But what, when, wait, when is, um, when is Pride here at Columbus? Pride in Columbus is June 20th through the 23rd. Oh, well, I can come back for that. Yeah, you could. I could. Hello. Okay. I'm sure it's already all booked, but I had an amazing time here. Thank you so much. It was such a pleasure. And you're amazing. And her number tonight was amazing, and she looked amazing. Very San Francisco. I fell. I fell. I fell. I bit her. She did not fall. She gracefully turns and <laughs> floated down to the floor. Gracefully. Gracefully. Like that. Like that. It was like that. It was beautiful. Now, if people want to get a hold of you, if people want to get a hold of you, follow you on social media. What's your Twitter? What's your Facebook? And, and how can they get merchandise? Tell them all of that information. Girl, I am so easy. Twitter, Honey Mahogany. Facebook, Honey Mahogany. Official fan page. <laughs> it's Graham Honey Mahogany. And you can find me on my website, it's honey.com. It's honey. It's honey. It's honey. It's honey.com. One last question. Is it honey? Sweeter than even maple syrup, girl. <laughs> Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, Honey Mahogany, all the way from San Francisco. Thank you, Thank you so much for coming. We love her. Make some noise for Honey Mahogany. Make some noise. I did that last time. Ladies and gentlemen, Honey Mahogany.